If you have a Celestron Go To telescope that uses the Nexstar hand controller, then it has this really cool feature called Precise Go To. If you haven't yet used this, then this short video is for you. With regular Go To, the object often does not appear centered in the eyepiece. This is just fine for things like the Moon, Jupiter, or Saturn. You can find them at the edge of the eyepiece and center them manually after the Go To. But what if you want to find Neptune? or a galaxy like M51. Those objects are so dim you would really like it if they would appear centered in the eyepiece and that's what Precise Go To will do for you. I will use M51 as an example. M51 is near the bright star Alcade. Alcade is the end star of the handle of the Big Dipper. We don't even need to know this though. We will start by assuming that you've already aligned your telescope. We select Precise Go To from the menu. Then it asks for the Go To type. There are two choices, Database and RA Deck. RA Deck would be used when we wanted to find something that was not in the database, such as a comet. You almost always choose Database. Then it says Select Catalog. Some of our choices are Name Stars, named objects, Messier. We want M51 so we choose Messier. Then we type in 051. The hand controller says it's searching. When it's done searching it gives us a list of five stars that are sorted by how close they are to M51. Number one on the list is the closest and it's Alcade. We select Alcade. It slews to Alcade. Now sometimes Nexstar wants you to put the star in the finder scope, press enter, and then center the star in the eyepiece and press the line. This is not one of those times. With Precise Go To, it asks you to center the star in the eyepiece from the start. And we never press the align button. I mention this so you won't mess up, because once you press enter, you're done. The scope then slews to M51. The accuracy of Precise Go To is generally way better than what you get with regular Go To. It will allow you to point your telescope at objects that are too dim to see from your neighborhood. M51 will not look like this picture from Hubble. What you'll see is a faint smudge, but only if you first drive to a dark site far from the city. But after a while you get tired of looking at Jupiter and Saturn, and you gotta do what you gotta do. Thanks to Celestron for giving us precise go-to, we can easily find these objects.